we feel we feel very good to get the W, to say the least. It was a frenetic pace out there, and at times uh, a little while uh, for us. 23 turnovers. Just I think I'm seeing turnovers in my sleep. We were better in the second half, and then all of a sudden, seven steps on the baseline. Luke steps on the baseline. Kobe goes driving through there like he was running for a first down and ran over the kid. And then Kenny came down and uh, had a bounce pass, one dribble earlier to Kobe for a layup, and he turned it over. And so uh, even down the stretch, we didn't do what we wanted to do with the ball. But we rebounded the heck out of it. I think I told some of you or somebody, I can't remember who, maybe it was uh, Lafonso and uh, Dan before the game that uh, I felt like we won the rebounding war, we'd win the game. Uh, we had uh, 11 second chance points to their eight, but it, so it wasn't that big a gap points wise, but uh, at least we got a second chance to either get a shot or get a turnover, one of the two. But uh, three guys with doubles, Cam 15 and 11 before he had the cramps, Kenny 15 and 10's first double double, and Luke 21 and 11, but uh, way too many turnovers, guys. It, you know, we play at a really fast pace, and they do also, but you can't turn the basketball over like that, so we got to get better there. But, uh, uh, Beverly coming off the bench, uh, first half he killed us, and then uh, we have a silly play and don't rebound it, and they get another opportunity, makes a three down the stretch there. But it's, uh, I like their club, I like the way they play. Both play very similar, to be honest with you, I think, but uh, it's a heck of a night. Glad to get out of town. What did you think about your team's grit tonight? I was really mad at them at one point in the first half because I thought we were way too soft. I and mean, we had some turnovers, it looked like we were ninth grade basketball team at a bad school. And uh, you can't do that. So I was really mad at them. I questioned their toughness. And then at the six minute mark, I told them we were going to be a lot tougher the last six minutes and do what the heck I tell you to do and we'll be fine. Uh, but we've got to be tougher. And I don't know, with toughness, I like going after the ball, but toughness can also be, you don't turn a sucker over. Roy, they shot 42% from overall and just 28% from three, both are well below their seasonal norms. Did they just have an off night, or do you feel like your defense influenced that? You know, I thought Garrison was really good defensively. We needed hard hedge on the screen on the ball, and except for one of those last plays, Funderburg got his last bucket. Garrison, it was his responsibility to go back in, in the lane from the ball to his man. Other than that, I don't remember many bad plays that Garrison did on the defensive end of the court. Uh, so those guys are hard. Markell's really good. Torn, I love his game. Uh, Beverly made the shots, but yeah, I think. Uh, in some ways, it was one of our better defensive games. It really was. Hey, Roy, uh, I was curious, what, at what point did you know Cam wasn't going to be uh, available to come back in the game? And what was kind of your strategy that last 12 minutes? Of that? I really didn't think when I went out there on the court and he was, was cramping up, I really didn't think he'd come back then. So it wasn't a surprise to me when Doug came to me with three minutes to go and said he's getting better, but he doesn't know if he's going to be able to do it or not. And I just sort of wrote him off at that point. And I just, it's hard sometimes those cramps. You can go out for 30 seconds and then you, you got a perfect wide open jump shot and you start to plant and then you fall down on the floor and drop the ball and the other guy goes down and dunks it. So I've never given much uh, an opportunity for guys to come back in the game after that, to be honest with you. But, uh, and then after that, we tried to think who was our best five defenders. Uh, B-Rob gave us a big three uh, from the far corner. and They had a really nice shot on the baseline, missed it, but I told them it was a real good shot. But uh, Leaky, I wanted Leaky in there to give us some ball, an extra ball handler as well. Uh, but just going by the CD pants, I didn't sit over there and make out an outline and try to figure out what the difference I was going to do. We know that ACC basketball is every game's tooth and nail. How pleased are you to be 2-0 and heading home for the opener? So you can tie it, but you can't beat it. So I like that part of it. Uh, we, we're trying to get better. I, can't, I know it sounds corny to you guys, but that really is. That's what we're trying to do is get better every day at a game and every day at practice. But to, I, I told them, I said, hey, that's a pretty good start, 2-0. and oh. you know, I like that. But now put that behind you and be ready to get better the next day at practice. Coach, seeing how your team responded um, in the second half, you think that what type of statement do you think they made about the team and where they are right now? I thought it was two different times, I think. What was it? 47-42 uh, at half, and I think they scored the first five and mm -hmm. tied it up, and we scored. Yep. And then I think they got it tied at like 60 or something like that. And it was crazy because I almost never watched a score. But I was watching it more tonight, I guess, because I didn't want to see a turnover. You know, I kept looking at the scoreboard. I never looked up there and you can't see what the heck you're doing. But uh, I thought we answered uh, every challenge. Even we decided they never got the lead. Right. And so every time they'd make a run, we'd come back and, and answer it. Uh, uh, 
Kenny made one really big three late in the shot clock. Uh, uh, we didn't we didn't exactly look like the smoothest team out there the last two or three minutes. So we, I think Kobe's the I think Kobe's the only one that missed a free throw. Is that correct? In the last four or five minutes. In that last stretch, yes. Yeah. So that's good too. Roy, you harped on the need for your wing guys to rebound the ball. With, with Kenny and Cam doing what they did tonight, he's going to speak to that and mm -hmm. what they brought. Well, we, one thing is we missed a lot of shots and so did State, so there's a lot of rebounds to get. But uh, it's a fast-paced game and a lot of possessions. I don't know how many possessions. This, I don't have that chart here with me. But uh, a high-possession game, you're going to get more opportunities. Kenny and Cam had 11 and didn't play ever. When was it when he went out? 11.56. 11 minutes. 11.56, oh, yeah. 11, 11, 11, yeah. So he had that many rebounds and didn't play the last 12 minutes. But Kenny got two or three really big time rebounds and went after the ball and really got it. We need that. We don't have a Kennedy mix, Isaiah Hicks, Bryce Johnson, that the ball's to seem to fall to. Anybody three, else? Yeah, three players okay. double double and uh, five players scored double figures. Who do you think was your best player tonight, considering all the different big plays? Oh, I'd, I'd be silly. I'd go with Garris, because I thought he was sensational defensively. And he missed a couple, but uh, you know, he's five for five from the foul line. He's five assists, zero turnovers, uh, eleven points. He's not even one of the guys that had the double figures and rebounds. But uh, you know, I think Luke made some big time shots for us. Kenny made some big time shots. I think uh, Kobe was important on the offensive end. But uh, I'd, I'd say Garrison. That's my pick. And what that was going to take. Roy Garrison had a similar game on Saturday. Is the light starting to come on more for him? I hope so. I hope it stays on. I told Lee Kin seventh and Kobe they better watch out because Garrison the last two games is ten assists, zero turnovers. I might play his buddy point guard. <laughs> Thanks, our locker room's open.